This is going to be the homosexual agenda of Hollywood. The plan by Hollywood for quite some time now is to push something which is unnatural in your face in an attempt to make the world believe it's natural behavior. They even have the athletes like Dwayne Wade and other NBA players in support of perverted sexual lifestyles. They have the rainbow. I've seen the rainbow in the MLB fields now, the baseball fields, on the pitcher's mound. I've seen commercials where you have NBA players like Grant Hill uh, saying not to use the slang terms like the common uh, phrase of young, many young people when they think something is not cool or it's stupid is they say that's gay. They had a whole commercial saying that you shouldn't use these type of slang terms uh, using the word gay and referring to gay people. That's what, I mean, growing up, we always said that. When something was stupid or not cool, we said, well, that's gay. And I mean, that may be a immature saying, but at least young people, for the most part, know that being gay is stupid. I mean, that's why we always said it. But then you have these athletes coming on the commercials saying that you shouldn't use slang terms like that. But you know it's getting bad when things that have always been masculine are now effeminate, sissy homosexuality. When the men that you saw as masculine growing up are now in support of these effeminate things, you know it's really getting bad. But these things are not cool, they're not holy, they're filthy and backwards. And 1 Corinthians 6, 9 shows you that it is a sin for a man to be effeminate. A man should act like a man, and a woman should act like a woman. And there is so much effort being put behind making homosexuality look natural in Hollywood and in the music industry because it's, it's, it's so completely against nature. So there's such a push and an attempt to make it seem natural because it's completely unnatural. Look at Romans one twenty six, Referring to the homosexuals, it says, For this cause God gave them up into vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So going after the same sex is leaving the natural use to do what goes completely against nature, to do what goes completely against how God intended for you to do. And I, I remember growing up as a teenager, you had songs like, I Kissed a Girl, and I Liked It. And it's got way worse since then. But that was a song by Katy Perry, and songs like that have helped to normalize lesbianism among young girls and if you fast forward to today uh, rappers like little nas x that had the hit song old town road is wanting to push queer sex to young people he wants them to know it's good for them to come out of the closet so that's why he came out of the closet and uh, was bragging about it on the ellen show at romans 127 says, and likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lusts one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their heir which was meat. So homosexuals work that which is unseemly. That means it doesn't fit. Literally, it doesn't work. The plumbing doesn't work in that relationship. Mark 10, 6 says, From the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. What's so hard about that? But Romans 1, 28 says, And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. You see that word? The homosexual relationship isn't convenient. God made your parts for male and female to go together, that's convenient. So much that the makeup of the male and female body proves God's existence. What are the chances of you just having all the right stuff to reproduce? 
and a male-on-male -male relationship goes against God's plan entirely. It's not convenient. And a woman-with-woman -woman goes against God's plan entirely. It's not convenient. Now, many people will say, you hypocrite, you're a sinner too, and you shouldn't judge everybody just because you don't commit the sin they're committing. But of course I'm a sinner. But the difference is, I admit every sin that I ever committed was wrong. When I lied, it was wrong. When I had a bad thought, it was wrong. When I lusted after a woman I wasn't married to, it was wrong. Everything I ever did that was against God and against the Bible was wrong. And I've done my fair share of wrong and sinning. And I'm ashamed of those things. But the homosexual movement is not ashamed. The homosexuals, the movement says they are right. They have pride parades. They are proud that they have the sin of Sodom. They hide it not. And they'll grab their sissy boyfriend and kiss him in the mouth right on camera. And the Bible talks about this being unashamed and how dangerous it is. Isaiah 3, 9. The show of their countenance doth witness against them. And they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul, for they have rewarded evil unto themselves. That sin of homosexuality is marked with pride and being unashamed of going against God. And how unashamed Hollywood is to show how perverted they are and introduce your kid to their perversions. Do you know why they do this? It's because they are predators. That Chris Hansen guy couldn't catch them all. And if he tried, if he tried to catch them all, they would have him whacked. Because many, many people uh, with a big influence like that are afraid to come out and say the truth about homosexuality for fear of violence toward them. There is a gay mafia in Hollywood, and the rapper Fat Joe even said there was a gay hip-hop mafia. If you want to make it to the next level in the rap game, as they call it, you got to go a little gay, they say, behind the scenes. But now it's not really even getting behind the scenes. It's getting out in the open because it's getting more and more acceptable. You want power, money, fame, and fortune? You got to do some dark stuff behind the scenes. Get initiated. And then they got some things on you to blackmail you. And it's just a big, long trail of sin that gets worse and worse and worse. But the female and female... And male with male. These relationships are against nature. That is why there has to be such a big push in the movies, the TV shows, the music, on the news, and other things. To try and change the mind. To try to change the natural mind about what is natural or unnatural. That's why they put men like Anderson Cooper on the news. You gotta have the gay character on all the sitcoms. You gotta have the gay guy on the reality show. You gotta have the gay singer coming out of the closet. That way, in the people's minds, it's normalizing that sin. It makes them think that these people are just like everybody else. It's normal. It's natural. They just prefer the same sex where you, as you prefer the opposite sex. But it's not natural. It's unnatural. I've had people ask me, do you think homosexuality is wrong? And I'm thinking, what kind of question is that? Nobody asked that question around here where I live years ago. I say, yes, of course it's wrong. They say, well, how do you know it's wrong? Okay, how do I know it's wrong? I answer that question with a question. They're so mad at me for thinking it's wrong and for me being intolerant of it. So I say, well, is the Bible wrong? If homosexuality is right, then that means that the Bible is wrong. So whose side are you on? Are you on the sex pervert side or on God's side? I'm on God's side. You think the Bible is wrong if you think homosexuality is right. You can't think they're both right. So you're intolerant of me. Why are you so intolerant of me? 
You're the one that's all about being, should be tolerant of other people. Okay, then why are you so intolerant of the Bible and what the Bible says? So you're going to choose that sinful lifestyle that has, that's very well known for AIDS and all the bad health that goes along with that sinful lifestyle and all the bad things associated with the homosexual lifestyle. You're going to choose that over the Holy Bible. You can't think they're both right. You're, you're mad at me for thinking homosexuality is wrong, but yet you're over here and you think the Bible is wrong. So what's wrong with you? But you know that Hollywood and the world redefine good and evil. That's how Hollywood is pushing the homosexual movement to you and your kids as they're redefining what's good and what's evil. And Isaiah 520 says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The world is saying that the sodomite relationship is love. They say you can't help who you love. A woman said to me that that the, the homosexuals, they just love each other just like you love your wife. Then she said, now I know what the Bible says. Okay, so I'm thinking, well, lady, obviously you are a Bible rejecter and you don't, give, you don't give a care what God thinks, talking like you're crazy. She's, you're talking like a crazy person. She just said, no, I know what the Bible says, but, okay, where do we even get our opinion of what's right and wrong? We get it from God. So the same Bible that says adultery is wrong, that says lying is wrong, that says stealing is wrong, that says envy is wrong, says homosexuality is wrong. And if I'm going to say homosexuality is right, why can't I just say murder is right? Or adultery and lying is right. If the same Bible that condemns all those things condemns homosexuality, then why wouldn't I just go along with all of it? But they make it seem sweet and they make it seem innocent. They make the straight people who are against homosexuality look like a bully and they make the sodomite, the homosexual, to look like a victim. But really, the homosexual homosexual is usually the, the aggressor, the one that's violent. It was that's the way they were in the Bible. They were, were beating down Lot's door, trying to get those men, those young men, which were angels, so they could lie with them. Same thing happened again in Judges. Some of the most well-known serial killers, homosexuals, Jeffrey Dahmer. John Wayne Gacy. What are the chances? What are the chances of that? They make the Bible-believing Christian to seem like the enemy. They make the sex pervert to seem like a hero. The world redefines good and evil for the purpose of corrupting everyone's morals. Satan doesn't just come as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. 2 Corinthians eleven fourteen and 15 says, And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. This is why they are putting homosexual characters in cartoon shows like Arthur and Clifford the Big Red Dog and Disney shows like Gravity Falls, Good Luck Charlie, Andy Mack, and others also have homosexual characters. This is an attempt to make evil appear good and innocent to young people. And listen to this plot for a little short mini-movie put out by Disney and Pixar. If you have any conscience left, you will find this to be very disturbing, the plot of this little movie. Uh, the plot features a young gay man now, this is a kid's movie, marketed to kids. It's animated. The plot features a young gay man who has not yet come out to his parents, who unexpectedly has his mind magically swapped with his dogs. 
and the the seventh short film in the Spark short series. It is both Disney's and Pixar's first short to feature a gay main character and storyline. Listen to this, including an on-screen same-sex kiss. The short was released on Disney Plus on May twenty second, twenty twenty. Now that's creepy. That's disturbing. And it's pretty fitting that he has his mind switch with an animal because that is just what the sodomite does. A dog will lick his own vomit. A sodomite will kiss anything. Never trust a man who will kiss another man in the mouth. There's this animated movie called Onward, which features a lesbian, one-eyed purple cyclops. She's pretty weird looking. But isn't that disturbing to you? The devil wants to make kids think it's funny, it's cute, it's innocent, it's sweet. There's nothing wrong with it. The more the devil can get you watching the movies that normalizes sodomites, lesbianism, and sex perversion, the more desensitized you will become of it. The more people live for the flesh and try to make living for sinful fleshy appetites acceptable, the more down the drain the country and the world will go. <coughs> Romans 7.13 Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good, that sin by the commandment might become exceeding sinful. See, the Bible makes sin appear exceeding sinful. When you read the Bible... You'll see your sin for what it is. The Bible uh, does not cover up sin at all. But movies with homosexuals and lesbians makes sin seem sweet and innocent. It makes sexual sin seem sweet and innocent. And the devil likes to go after the kids. And that's why the in Mark 9, 21, the devil-possessed boy had been possessed since he was a child. The devils came to him of a child, it says. That's what the drag queen story hour is. It's devils coming at people while they are children, while they're at their most vulnerable state. And if they can get you while you're early, they can easily corrupt you. Why do they do this? It's because they want to sexualize the kids. Why is there a lesbian woman with her own talk show? Because America is wicked and thinks an open lesbian is cute and funny and likable. That's how far we've gone. But in the Bible, homosexuality is never spoken of in a good light. The Bible is very against this lifestyle. And if you're a Bible-believing Christian, you have zero support for this sinful lifestyle. There is no excuse. I'm not going to stand up for the rights of the homosexual. Just like I wouldn't stand up for the rights of a man committing adultery. I'm not just going to have a big parade saying, yeah, he should be able to commit adultery if he wants to and, and, and all this. Um, King Asa in the Bible is said to have done right in the eyes of the Lord. And one of the things he did was took away the sodomites out of the land. In 1 Kings 15, 11 through 12, it says, And Asa did that which was right in the eyes of the Lord, as did David his father, and he took away the sodomites out of the land and removed all the idols that his father had made. Now, I don't believe in doing violent acts or uh, going after the homosexuals, hurting them or their, or their house or their possessions. I'm not saying to ever do anything like that. It's never okay to to commit violence on someone. I'm just saying don't be in support of it. I'm not saying they can't do what they want to. I mean, it's a free country. They can do what they want to in this country. But that doesn't mean you have to support them. That doesn't mean you have to fight for their right to be able to basically have more rights than you have. But you have preachers today who are so stupid and such sellouts they won't preach against homosexuality because it hurts their income. One preacher said that the church's position on homosexuality is evolving. And that's the words of a true moron. He makes it sound like, the, like he's speaking for every Christian. 
I mean, nobody asked me, nobody asked you what you thought. Your position on it isn't evolving. Homosexuality is a disgusting sin, according to the Bible, and it's unnatural. Um, uh, my, my position on it hasn't evolved one bit. I still think it's wrong. Just because God isn't wiping the country off the map for this sin yet doesn't mean he's not going to. Ecclesiastes 8.11 says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Just because God isn't burning this place up like Sodom and Gomorrah doesn't mean the day's not coming. He's not doing it quickly, but man, it's coming. The average lost man on the street who lives for the flesh, who doesn't even think about the Bible, the average lost man, if you ask him, doesn't even think homosexuality is okay because of the fact that it's so unnatural. It's so against nature. And if he does say he's okay with homosexuality, then it's only because he has been brainwashed into thinking that if he doesn't become tolerant of it, then this means he's a bad person and he's close-minded and hateful and awful. But the average man knows it's unnatural, knows it's disgusting, and wants nothing to do with it. But the devil wants to make it where everyone thinks you're strange if you're not at least okay with homosexuality. And many people do think you're weird for not going along with it. And 1 Peter 4.4 4 says, wherein they think it strange that you run not with them to the same excess of riot, speaking evil of you. It's going to get to that point where you're going to be strange. You're going to be considered hateful and, and uh, hate speech. And they're going to want rid of you because you do not go along with that sin. The world makes you think that going along with homosexuality and going along with giving people their rights and their freedom. You should you should go along with giving people their rights and freedom to be what they want to be. And They promise these people liberty, but it's actually bringing them into bondage. 2 Peter 2, 18 and 19 says, For when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error, while they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for of whom a man is overcome, of the same as he brought in bondage. You see, they they say you're free, you're free, you can have cho you have a choice to marry who you want to marry, like who you want to like, abort the baby you want to abort. They promise you liberty, but these things just put you in bondage. Just because a man has homosexual thoughts doesn't mean he should act on those thoughts. Just like a person shouldn't act on murderous thoughts. What if they had a murderer pride parade? You know, there's people out there who who get turned on by murdering people. Just like the sodomite gets turned on by another man. And since Ted Bundy liked to choke women and was turned on by that, should there be a big uproar over his right to commit such horrible acts? Just because a man is attracted to another man, should we celebrate his perverted lifestyle or should he seek help for it? Just like the murderer, the drunkard, the adulterer. The same Bible that said adultery, murder, drunkenness, lying, stealing, and envy is wrong, said homosexuality is wrong. It plainly says in Leviticus 18.22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. And since there are men everywhere who commit adultery against their wife, should we fight for the rights of adulterers and celebrate the sin of adultery and act like it's so cute and the, uh, the, the, the man, the husband, can't help that he fell in love with his secretary. It's not his fault. That's just love is love. You just love who you love. Should we talk like that? No, that's stupid. Why do men commit adultery? Because they like sex with other women who aren't their wives. Does that mean it's okay just because that's what they like? No, that's stupid. But that's why men commit sodomy, because they're attracted to other men. Just because you like something or something feels good to you doesn't mean you should do it 
and then celebrate it and act like you're unashamed of it? What if all these adulterers was going around having adultery pride parades, saying, I'm so glad I'm an adulterer, I cheated on my wife. You would look at that as disgusting. But the same Bible that says that's wrong says homosexuality is wrong. And it doesn't, adultery is a, a man cheating on his wife with a woman. That's a sin, but it's more natural than a man with another man. It's natural for a red-blooded man to be attracted to a woman, even if it's not his wife. But it's not natural for a man to be attracted to another man. If you're committing that sin of homosexuality, you're committing an unnatural act that goes against nature. But Hollywood and the world celebrate sin. They make it seem glamorous. They paint it in a pretty picture. Hollywood and the media label you as a hateful bigot if you go against homosexuality. They act like you're intolerant and, and you're holding the world back. However, Jesus commends you for your intolerance to evil. In Revelation 2.2, 2, it says, I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. God appreciates somebody who is intolerant of evil the christ rejecting world sees homosexuality as progress or as evolution it sees abortion as women's rights and as such progress in their mind they are so much smarter than you and have reached this new enlightenment that you haven't reached and this is how the devil tricked eve he made her think the fruit would make her wise in genesis 3 5 and 6 the devil says, For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took the fruit thereof and did eat, and gave also unto her husband and with her, and he did eat. Notice that the devil deceived Eve and pointed out all these positive things to her about what God told her not to do and she saw that the tree was good for food it was pleasant to the eyes it was to be desired your sin will appear that way and the devil will make you think that god doesn't know what he's talking about you should go on and do something that the bible says not to do the devil is deceiving millions just like he did eve the lgbt group wants advanced rights our rights are taken so that they can have more rights the more rights you give them the less rights you have because the rights that they want get in on your rights to take those away they want to force you to call a tranny a woman even though he's a man that's taking away my rights if there is some sissy boy that wants me to call him a female even though he ain't one that's taking away my right. I should be able to call him whatever I want. I mean, why should I call a man a woman when he's a man? You're taking away my right if you make me be try to be this political correct stuff. If, if my daughter goes to the bathroom and a man dressed up like a sissy man, woman goes in there, you're messing around with my rights. I sh that's sick. The further you go down the path of accepting unnatural sins, more unnatural sins become acceptable to people in the future. Now, I don't believe you can say all homosexuals are pedophiles, but sin is progressive. It gets worse with time. Every sin leads to worse sin. Pornography leads to adultery. Pornography leads to fornication. Pornography leads to going after prostitutes. Every sin leads to worse sin. Homosexuality, it can lead to pedophilia, bestiality. If a man will kiss a man in the mouth, he'll kiss anything eventually. If we go to the left, then our kids go even further to the left. If you accept sodomy today as good and right, then what will your grandkids accept as good and right tomorrow? Pedophilia? Bestiality? Why not? 
The average person is completely grossed out by bestiality, and rightfully so. Leviticus 18.23 says, Neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith, neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confusion. So is it wrong for me to say a person shouldn't have sex with animals? I mean, even the average homosexual would say it's wrong to have sex with an animal. If so, then you can't say it's wrong for me to say a man shouldn't have sex with another man. The same Bible that says it's wrong to commit adultery, wrong to commit bestiality, says it's wrong to commit homosexuality in the same chapter, Leviticus 18, within verses of each other. It says it's wrong for a man to lie with another man, and says it's wrong for a woman to lie with a beast. I mean, how can you say one's wrong, but then the other one's right? Come on. Come on now. Is it wrong for a mother to commit fornication with her son? The average person would say yes. The only reason you wouldn't say homosexuality is likewise wrong is because you have been tricked by Hollywood, the devil, and the world consistently pushing that in your face on every movie, every TV show, every music video, on the news, but the little gay boy on the news, make you used to seeing the little gay boy every day on the news, and it's made you grow soft and sympathetic for sex perverts. Now when they start coming out on the movies, making pedophiles seem okay, and bestiality seem okay, slowly, over time, you'll become sympathetic for these sexual deviates. Hollywood has been on a mission to introduce this sinful lifestyle for years. It started with Ellen. It started with people like Rosie O'Donnell, who was host of the Kids' Choice Awards for years. And she came out as, and she's a nasty lesbian. It started on shows like The Will and Grace Show. The show This Is Us, a very popular show today, has a young girl who's attracted to other little girls. That's sick. Very sick. I mean, think about what you're watching. You're watching something that's got a young girl who's attracted to other little girls. That's just weird. And that scene is acceptable and okay on the TV show. You have the movie Love, Simon, making gay guys look sweet and innocent and all so cute, which is also now a TV show. The show Andy Mack on... Disney has a flaming homo character named Cyrus Goodman who it shows hold him holding hands with another little gay boy on the show. I mean, it's pathetic that we have such sex perverts in Hollywood who makes this look like harmless love between two people. They're promoting this to our kids. Uh, don't be holding another man's hand like that. If you are a red-blooded man, stuff like that should make you cringe seeing something that nasty and gay. I mean, that's just sick. And, I mean, you, you say, well, you just, you just love that. If you just love that kind of stuff, if you love that stuff, you hate your kid. Because that's who they're going after. They're going after your kid. Do you love your kid and their well-being and their soul, or do you love perverted sex lifestyles because you want them to have their rights and just be able to just live how they want to live out in the open a nasty sodomite and be unashamed about it do you love that more than you love your kids but it's been pushed in our face as normal so much i mean you can't even go i mean just in the past couple years i've noticed you can't even go to a fast food place get your kid a happy meal at McDonald's without seeing some lesbian at the cash register at the drive through window with all of her girlfriends as the co-workers. That's something you'll notice. And I mean, I'm in the Bible Belt in a very small town. I can't even imagine what it's like in a big city. I, I mean, I don't go to big cities. I've never really even been to one. But just in my small town, pretty much all the fast food places, they got a lesbian manager, 
And then she's hired all these other little lesbians to work in there with her. I mean, they, they gang up on you. They gang up together. And if it was up to them, Bible-believing Christianity would be gone and done away with. Because Bible-believing Christianity is what's standing in the way of them completely just having their own little perverted fairy tale world here. And I mean, they have commercials now with uh, gay men kissing, lesbians embracing each other right there on the screen. I mean, even these like medication commercials will show two sodomites on the couch together. We are living in a sick, perverted world. Hollywood is trying to brainwash you, conform your mind and make you think that something that's unnatural is actually natural and not against nature. And that's why there's, there has to be such a big push because, I mean, it takes a lot for your mind to be twisted into thinking that something that sick and nasty is okay. I mean, it's taken a lot. It's, they're having a big push. They've been doing it for years. And I mean, still, the average man on the street still, if you go up to him and ask him, does not think homosexuality is okay. But, I mean, they're pushing it more and more, getting people to think that it's good and right and that it's not ungodly to the point that people are choosing and saying that it's more right to be acceptable of all lifestyles than it is to actually go by the Bible because the Bible is against those lifestyles. But I just hope and pray that this has opened someone's eyes to the sin of homosexuality and the sin of Hollywood and how they're trying to corrupt the minds, especially of the young kids, putting homosexual characters in all the TV shows, all the movies, and it's just going to get worse from here. It's just getting worse from here on out. Ten years from now, probably every cartoon, every animated movie that comes out by Disney is going to have the gay character on screen same sex makeout sessions is what you're going to be seeing. But maybe the Lord's going to come soon and get us out of this sick, twisted, perverted world that we're in.